In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Elementor Pro slider widget works, all its settings, and some demos of what you can do with it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what is going on? My name is Bjorn. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and always getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video is part of the Elementor Pro playlist in this channel link in the description down below or part of the comments down below. Make sure you check out the whole playlist to see all the widgets in action. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get on the Elementor Pro Ultimate Course waitlist, which I'm building right now. I'm still in the process of building it. It's not completed yet. Getting on the way, this is no obligation. But if you do like Elementor and you want to know how to do everything with it, get on that waitlist. Link in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's hit in the screen capture. I'll see you there. Find the slides, drag and drop them in and we have some pre-built slides. They look pretty nice, just with the solid colors in the back. That actually be a really good looking slider as it is for many websites, just like that. Let's see if we can get this to stretch the entire width. Let's check on the, click on these six dots here, go to stretch, full width. And now we have our slider at full width, but we see some overlap on the edge. Well, that's what this one was adjusting. So the sliders are now full width, really clean, really nice. By default, we have those three that we see here. To change what they are, click on slide one, for example. You can change the color in the background. You can put an image in the back. You change the text in this tab here. So if we wanted to change the background, let's add an image from our site here. Since we've been using these images a lot already, let's just add them in. Boom, stairs. And let's add under content, these are great stairs and that looks pretty good. So the biggest drawback, the way we have this set up right now, is the text is hard to see on this background image. That's gonna happen quite a bit. So under background, go to background overlay, turn that on to yes, and by default, it grays out a little bit. So this is already instantly much better to see, but you can change this color to any color you want. I'm clicking green a lot because it's in the palette down here. Not that I like green that much, it's just in the palette. So I like this darker grayed out background. And if you go to the next slide, nothing's changed. We're only working on this first slide right here. Blend mode, this is most often used in photo editing programs. This is pretty advanced stuff, but you can select these and you can see how it affects the image and choose the options as you see fit. Or you can also Google them. There's a lot of information on what those are. Under content, again, we can add a link. It has a button here by default. You can add, change the button text here and add a link. You can also have link options, open in a new window or make the link no follow. Under style, like I said, there's individual styling for each individual slider if you want, or we have overall styling for all of them in this tab here. So I'm just gonna go through and customize the background images for these two sliders, the remaining two, and then we'll go into the slide settings. So now I have the other slides built as well. We can see the parrot's head is cut off. That's not ideal. The monkey's head is also cut off also not ideal. And the best way to change that for a slider like this is to make sure the images are the correct size before you put them in here. We do have a couple options we can use. We can change the size from cover to contain, which puts the whole image in the space, and that's not perfect. Although for this one, we could make it work because the edges of this image are black. So if we change the color to black, that almost works, but usually it won't work. So contain is not ideal. Auto makes it even bigger, so that's not perfect either. Cover is the best, and sometimes you have to change your images just to make them fit properly. The Ken Burns effect is this slight zooming on transition or when you're on the slide itself. So no Ken Burns is like this, and Ken Burns is like this. I quite like the Ken Burns. I'm going to turn it on for all of these. Zoom direction, out or in. Let's actually do out because... I'm able to see more of the parrot then and more of the monkey. And another thing we can do to make it a little more visible is change the height. So right now the default height is 400. If we change the height of this to, in this case, 600, that's pretty good. You can see the whole monkey once we're zoomed out on Ken Burns. You can see the whole parrot. It's pretty good. Slider options for the navigation. We can have arrows and dots. You can see the dots just barely over the amplifier down at the bottom there because they're black. Probably just see them pretty well on this one. Uh, right now you can. There you go. 
right there, and the arrows. So that's arrows and dots. You can have just arrows, just dots. Make sure the dots are clearly visible. In this case, they're not. We can adjust that though. I'm going to have arrows and dots. You can have pause on hover. So when you hover over the slider, it doesn't go to the next one. So you have that on or off. I'm going to turn mine to off. You can have an autoplay, which means it starts going to the next slide, next slide automatically. And the speed at the switch or the, the length of time it spends on one slide is 5,000 milliseconds by default, which is five seconds. You can change that to whatever you want, but keep in mind, this is in milliseconds. So this will go really quick if you just put the number five in there and think it's five seconds. It's not five seconds. Five seconds is 5,000. Infinite loop means it'll keep looping. That's quite often the case for sliders. Transition, you can fade or you can slide. It's going to speed this up a bit. So that's the fade look. I like the fade. I'll keep that. Transition speed is how quick the fade happens. And content animation is the animation when you slide. So you can, I have a set to zoom. You can see there's a slight zoom when you slide. You have a set to none, and then nothing happens. It just fades. So there's a slight zoom still. The content animation is how the content appears, which is the words in the link. So if you have this set to none, the content is just boom, there on all the slides. If you have it set to zoom, it starts small and boom, there, boom, there, boom. Have it set to right and it comes in from the right. So you can set this whatever you feel is appropriate. Once you have those settings done, go to style. We have a pretty good looking slider as it is already, so it's not like you have to change a whole lot more. You can change the width, which is the width of the content. 66% is probably pretty good. It also changes for mobile and tablet. Change the padding, horizontal position. I like how everything is right now, so I'm just gonna go through all the options just to show you what they are, but I'm not gonna change any of them. For the title, we can have the spacing, more or less spacing between the words. Actually, I might change that one. The description, more or less spacing between the description and the button. Change the color, typography. The button, we can change size, make one extra large. Change the color, typography, have different effects on hover down here. So if you want to have, let's see, on hover, let's make the background color white and make the text, there we go, make the text gray and make the border gray. There we go, that's pretty nifty. So on hover, we have some button effects there. For the navigation, which is the arrows and the buttons at the bottom, we can change how they appear. So the arrows, change the arrow size, put the arrows inside or outside of the slider. I prefer to have mine inside, especially when you stretch full width because outside is off the screen. So if you stretch full width, keep them inside. Arrow color, set that here, I'm gonna keep mine as white. Thought position, you can usually have outside, there's usually more space on the bottom below a slider. So you have them outside, these ones are clearly visible. If you have it inside, you might wanna change the size to be a bit bigger sometimes and give it a color like white so people can see them. And there we have a nice old little slider. Maybe not old, maybe it's brand new. I wanna move the slider right up to the bottom of this element. So I'm gonna to go to this element, click on the six dots, go to advanced, margin bottom of zero, we have a nice looking slider right there. Now that we've checked all the margins and made sure they're all zero, we can go to the six dots again and six dots again. Change our columns gap to no gap. And now we have no gap. It's right up against the slide element up above here. And we have a nice looking slider working for us right now. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And also consider buying Elementor through the affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase it that way, but Elementor does send me a few dollars commission, which helps me keep these glorious lights on. And if you do purchase through there, thank you very much. And next up was clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.